saying goodbye today to the couch. It's so hard to say goodbye to this couch. Okay, this just got awkward. Ah, Riverside, California. I'm gonna stop off here at Tio's Tacos. Not for tacos, but just for a little crazy junk eye candy. And Jay's with me today. He helped me load my couch in my van and I'm delivering it to Riverside. But before we meet up with the people who are buying the couch, you've never been here before, right? No, but tacos first time. sure don't sound good though. You want tacos this early? Any I just, time of the day. Maybe we'll get tacos. I just wanted to show you this, these crazy junk statues. Uh, Let's check it out. It's like a little shrub man. There's his head and there's his arms and his legs. On top of the restaurant itself sits a guy welcoming us to Tio's Tacos, established 1990. It's a little kid up there on his tricycle. I don't know if that's safe to be up there. I don't think the kid's real. I think it's just a doll. So you enter in through here into the courtyard and look at this woman right here, made out of shells. Whoa, look at that. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. There's a skeleton with a baby in its stomach. Did the skeleton eat the baby? Or is there some other sort of symbolism for this? I don't think this is safe to sit on though. That could not hold my body weight. This guy's welcoming me, fist bump. <laughs> I upset the dog. This guy's having a good time, and this guy here, I don't know if he's having a good time, but this guy's definitely having a good time. And, Jay, are you having a good time? I love this place, mostly because all of this stuff is made out of junk. Stuff that people would just throw away or discard. They have turned it into the most awesome taco place Ever. Now I've been here before. The last time I was here was a few months ago with my friend the carpet bagger, but that was when I did the unedited vlogs. I didn't really show a lot of them. I'm gonna try to show more today. Stuff I haven't shown before. Like Jay, he's never been here before, so never. I'm showing him here. So that, that makes this vlog cool, right? Definitely, instant. Go down this little pathway. Whoa, just hit my head. I just hit my head on that chandelier. Watch out for that chandelier. No problem. Fred Flintstone here. John Goodman? Daughter. Wah, 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 wah. Which one's Jay? The left or the right? Which one's Jay? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. In case you're wondering why this guy is cross-eyed, You'd be cross-eyed too if your hand was mutilated in some sort of weird farming accident. Now this guy's pretty interesting. I don't know, as cool as some people might think this is, I think it's a little cheesy. Oh, look at this guy just chilling. And right down here, this toy is dangling in his nether regions. You could say, it's hung like a horse. <laughs> They even have a little chapel on the property here. Made out of bottles. They have seats there. The roof. Very cool. That place is pretty cool. If you're ever in Riverside, check out Tio's Tacos and just walk around the courtyard. It's free. Chinese Pavilion, not open to the public. Chinese Pavilion is closed and is only open on special events, according to this sign. I always love stopping off at the Mission Inn. Pretty cool place. Look at the size of that mirror and the decorations around it. There's like little, what do they call those, cherubs? Is that what they call like the babies that are angels flying around, cherubs? That is a cherub ridden mirror, if I've ever seen one.
What's up, fellas? Are you ignoring me? Don't ignore me. I'm right here. Don't pretend you don't see me. Okay, good. That's right. You finally acknowledge me. Finally. The Nanjing Bell from the Manchu Temple in Nanjing, China. And that is a huge bell. Look how beautiful this is when you walk through the entryway of the Mission Inn. And as you go in and look up, the tower, the very tippy top of the tower is a weather vane. North, south, east, and west. In case you were wondering where you were, you can use that as a compass. What the heck is that over there? After researching it online, as best I can tell, this is the world's largest paper cup. It's been repainted since its original incarnation here in front of this factory. But I have the drone, there's a fence here. I'm gonna see if I can get up close with the drone, close enough to take a look at the paper cup. Even though it's been repainted, it deserves a closer look. Gotta pick up a couple things from Walmart. Can't go wrong with a self-checkout. Casa Garcia, Mexican buffet. Looks pretty tasty. Got some lettuce, some rice, some beans. These beautiful things. What are these called? Enchiladas. Enchiladas, I always forget the name of those for some reason. Enchiladas, a little bit of beef, and then you got some beans. Oh, man. And what are those, what are those things there? Taquitos, got flautas, chimichanga. Man, it's a mixture of goodness. Everything. This will be the last time I use the washer and dryer. Tomorrow, these are going away. In fact, almost everything in my home is gone. The couch I got rid of today and the bookshelf that was in my room that I dragged into the living room, that is gone as well. Slim pickings left here. And those will be saying goodbye tomorrow. So, gotta do some laundry. Because after this, no more washer and dryer. And now it's time for Ask Adam the Woo. Don't forget the hashtag. Hello Adam, Kieran from the Scotch Review here. And I've got a question for you. Have you ever tried haggis? And if no, would you try it? I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm pretty open to new things, trying and eating different types of things, so maybe I would try it. Let me look it up real quick. Savory pudding containing sheep's pluck, heart, liver, and lungs. Uh, I don't know about that. I may have changed my mind on that one. Yeah, Adam, what was your favorite cartoon or cartoons when you were growing up? It's funny you're wearing a DuckTales shirt because I love DuckTales. I also liked, of course, the Looney Tunes and Bugs Bunny and the Roadrunner and all that. Do you remember, it was an animated feature. It was a Dr. Seuss feature. It was called Pontoffel Pock, Where Are You? I was thinking about that the other day. He's a lucky old man, oh, he's got a piano. That'll take us away from it all. I think I got that song right. Ask Adam the Woo. Don't forget the hashtag. I was wondering, Adam, when would you plan to start uploading videos in 4K? It might be a while before I do the 4K thing because now that I'm going to be traveling, uploading is very difficult. So it'll probably stick to 1080 and 720 for a while. What is going on with my hair? Hey Adam, watching your daily vlog as we speak, and me and Marty want to know, what's the creepiest place that you've ever explored? The one that really gave you the most heebie-jeebies. Draw your attention through this empty weed-filled parking lot to the Big Bend High Lie. I uploaded that video on October 17th, 2012. Check it out, the massive High Lie, super dark building. I went by myself, terrifying. Hey Adam. Um, as you can see, I got Jurassic Park on behind me, and I was just wondering, between California's Jurassic Park ride and Florida's Jurassic Park ride, which one do you think's the best? I gotta go with California on this one. And that has been another edition!
dish in the house. I thought of the world. <laughs> woo, 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 woo.